Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Ultima 9 Ascension. And when last we left off, we are tying up the final loose ends at the very end of the game. We could go straight to Turfin if we like and have at thee with the Guardian one last time, but we still have one more Lighthouse Gem to put in its proper place. We have one more Spell Scroll to bind to our Spellbook. We have a little bit of weapon training we can do, and then there is one more magic weapon that we can have one final attempt at finding. That pesky bow that is somewhere in a shipwreck off the coast of Valoria. But first things first, let us go and take care of two things in one place. Buccaneers Den, there's trading we can have, and there's the final lighthouse gem that we're going to put in the lighthouse, thus completing that quest. I hope that the lighthouse keeper in Britain is pleased. That said, it has taken us a long time. You're back. So how are things in Moonglow? Oh, getting back to normal. Can you believe a word that anyone says? I think that you can now. So where do we go now? Now that I'm thinking about it, you can't even get close to completing that quest until you're far into the game, as one of the gems, the one for Buccaneer's Den, can only be found intrinsic. But either way, we need to go somewhere else. I'd like to go somewhere else. Where would you like to go? It's also my hope that enough time will pass while we're sailing about Britannia that it will be day by the time we go to Serpent's Hold. I don't want to have a repeat of our previous attempt to get there, when we couldn't see. Buccaneer's Den. And off we go in our awesome strafing boat. I'm always going to be impressed with this boat. Super awesome boat. And here we are, back in Buccaneer's Den. It's been a while since we've been here, and I think the lighthouse is on the same part of the island as the training area. I think it's over there, so let us jump off the boat. I said let us jump off the boat. Nope. Let us... I think we need these on, don't we? I think we do. Let's try that again. Let's... Yep, jump off the boat, and swim over. I imagine Raven is looking at us and just tuts and shakes her head going, Oh, Avatar, you could have just used the walkways. No, I must swim. It is the fastest way to go, and we don't have much time. Really should have taken off most of my armor, too, when I started swimming. It is quite heavy. Alright, that's done. We're going to switch back. That said, it's not going to matter that much, because we uh, are going to be taking it all off. Rather, the uh, weapons to oh, fight bet. here. We have the finest fights in all of Britannia. They're also pretty expensive if you want to train. You're back. Care to try for a third win? Sure. Sure, I'll give it a try. That'll be 5,000 gold. Let's do it. It's not like we have much else to spend our money on. That sounds like a fair price. Great. I'll take your gear, and we can get started! That we can. Okay, here you go. Step up, folks. Pay your money to see the newcomer take on all challengers. Good luck. Are we really the newcomer at this point? I don't think we are. Also, how about thee? We really don't need to uh, do anything, really, to... Uh, take you on, because we are still wearing a full set of Blackrock armor. Really now, this is really unfair. They should have taken our armor this time. We do have the best armor in the whole world. In fact, we may have the only complete set of this armor in the whole world. We do need this money, however. We are uh, a little short on money compared to our riches about five seconds ago. How many more people are we going to face? Well, there's you. How about thee? And then the Avatar punched this person in the chest a lot. And won! Hooray! I'm still surprised that we kill these people. I imagine they're trying to kill us as well, though. Are we done? Hey, that was great! That backflip you've learned is a good way to back out of a fight without turning your back on the enemy! <laughs> I got one problem, though. What's that? No one else will fight you. Sorry, kid. Here are your belongings. Take care of yourself now. 
That's the game saying, yep, there's no more training that you can get here. Right, let us now, uh, sort all of this out because, uh, my, this is now a mess. So, first things first, we equip this, we equip that, we move this over to here, we put this here, we put this here, that there, that there, actually no, that there, that there, that there, this here, I think that's about right. We're gonna move all of these back into a completely random order, thus uh, growing the order that we had uh, for quite a long time. And there we go, there's that. We also need to sort out our spells that we need here. We need the spell for... Let's see, we, oh, we need the spell for stone. We need the spell for ignite. We need the spell for Light Heal, and we need the spell for Ethereal Sight. And that rhymed with Light! Ha ha! The Avatar is a poet, and did not realize that they could rhyme so. Actually, what we should do is move things like that, and actually have a glass sword here. Never know! Might actually use it! Oh, who are we kidding? What are the chances we're actually going to use it? Now, let us make our way over to... Actually, the best way to make our way over there is just to swim in the water, isn't it? Yes, it is! So, into the water we go! And it's time to swim. Shouldn't take us that long, and if we stay close to the land, we shouldn't suffer the fatigue loss from swimming in the open water. At least that's the hope. If that doesn't turn out to be the case, we're going to have to turn around really, really quickly. That said, we have a lot of health now, so it will take quite a while for our health to drain down. And I say quite a while, what I actually mean is it's going to take about another fraction of a second before we run out. It really does drain quickly. You know, the Guardian to defeat us should just throw us into the ocean. We wouldn't stand a chance. Okay, there's a bit of beach here. Don't think this beach is going to... No, it's not going to lead to where we want to go, but we can move faster along this bit of beach. So we are here. The lighthouse is... somewhere. That's actually a uh, new Magencia. So are we going the right way? We are going the right way. I just haven't found the way up yet. There should be a way up very soon, because the lighthouse is close by. Well, the ghost will be there as well. We actually probably could swim over to New Magencia quite safely now that we have all of this, uh, health. Also, we're not finding a good way up at all, are we? No, we are not. And there is a pirate. Oh, here's a way up. Aha! Spoke too soon. The pirate ghost is here, and I wonder if you have anything to say. No, you don't. Let us, uh, get this lighthouse working and avenge your passing by making sure that nobody else falls. Now we can walk safely through that. Up here. And we're gonna go over to here. I don't know why I always go up to the very top when I always decide to stop here. And we will go a little bit further up and save. Always a good idea to save before you do something, uh, important, especially in this game. Oh, not, uh, Video 200. We haven't been playing it that long, though. We have been playing it a long time. And... There we go! The third and final Lighthouse Gem has been... placed. Now, let us go and, uh, make our way back to the boat. And the best way to do that is to... Go this way, I think. Go this way, and up, and then down, back into Buccaneers Den. Then we are going to go to Valoria, because Valoria is where we can go and get some training and have one final look for that bow. I think it's meant to be in a, uh, well, and then we slide down here, awesomely. I think the uh, shipwreck is meant to be on the southeastern side of the island. Though I could be wrong. Let's just, uh, get this going so that the boat comes back. The magic boat! Really, this magic is very subtle, but, uh, 
such magic is exceptionally useful. If it, could, if it was a bit faster, it would be even better, but it's still powerful. And then the Avatar waited. Patiently. Very patiently. I think the training in uh, Valoria is about 2,000 gold. We should be uh, fine with the money we have. We'll jump in, and... Uh, I don't think we can take a seat. No, we can't. We just have to stand. It would be cool if you could take a seat, or if the Avatar automatically took a seat. It's nice and peaceful tonight in Buccaneer's Den, which is not something that I ever thought I'd be saying about Buccaneer's Den, but there's a first time for everything, eh? Also, I should probably equip the, uh... Which uh, bag is it now? Here we go. I should probably equip this so that we start regaining that lost health. And just walk over to here. It's a good thing we can walk and we don't need to jump. Arr! Just gave a pirate greeting there as we leave. And probably never come back. This is probably the last time we're coming to Buccaneer's Den. In fact, when we leave Valoria, it's probably the last time we'll be there as well. And it's time to go! Where would you like to go? To Valoria. Valoria. We'll do the training first, and then we'll have that final look. Then it will be off to Serpent's Hold to get that spell scroll. This place, mu the music in this place still hasn't, uh gotten cheery, though it is now day, which is fantastic. That's fantastic. And we're at full health, so let us put this back on, and put this back here, and this here. Excellent. We have a lot of uh, bottles of serpent wine. Apparently there's nearly 40 of them, and all of them are on the overworld. You don't find any in dungeons. Most of them are, in fact, on beaches, which implies that they fell off the side of a ship and just washed up on shores. Makes sense. They've decided to keep the doors open for us, which is nice of them, to be fair. It's a lot less dangerous here now than it once was. I say that, and their home is in a volcano, which is kind of dangerous. Hello! Now, let's just pop over here. And hope the doors are going to open. Yes, they are! You just have to get really, really close to them. Plant your face into that door avatar! And you still have no dialogue for us. Okay. Hello! I knew you'd be the one to set things right, avatar. Bless you, my boy. We are in your debt. Would you like to take a look at my wares? I'm interested in some training. I would like some training. Well, as I was saying, since you took care of those demons for us, I'll give you a discount on the training. How about, say, uh, 1,500 gold? I did not know there'd be a discount. That's awesome. Sounds fair to me. Very well, let's begin. This shot that I'm going to show you is a side stroke to the ribs. If your opponent's guard is up high on his left side, you can do a great deal of damage with this shot. Awesome. And we fade as we train. And we're back. You learn quickly, Avatar. I hope the training helps you in your travel. Me too. Now let's actually look at our proficiencies. Journeyman, 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 master and master. We are a master at range and a master in hand-to-hand -hand fighting. That's pretty cool. Now, let us uh, go out here. Also, there are potions here. We, we could do with these. You know what? Let's actually take them. We might actually need those potions. We have plenty of inventory space. Now, that bow. The southeast side, or so I've been told, is where that shipwreck is. So lots and lots of those uh, really dangerous plants. We'll save once we get past the uh, wooden palisade. 
anymore. So that cannon's probably really useful at dealing with uh, opposing ships. That said, the demons weren't really using ships, were they? No, they weren't. Right. We'll save. Over here. And we will consult our map. We are on the southern side of the island, so somewhere around here should be that boat. Then again, it might not be here. It might have just disappeared. This is something that that can do. So we'll just uh, have a look around. Anything here? Just have a look. I don't see anything. All I see is uh, nothingness and the uh, infinite expanse of water. Yeah, nothing here at all, and if I were to consult the map... Yeah, we need to, uh, definitely surface here, otherwise we're gonna drown! There we go. Maybe we need to use the ship to go and, uh, get the, uh, shipwreck. We might have to. Also, there is a treasure chest there, just sitting there. Hmm. This is where we would board. I'm just gonna go one more time around. It's not here because that is uh, just a pile of uh, debris and it's not here either. Because that is just a uh, small pile of potions. That said, I'll take the potions. Not the worst thing to find. need as many potions as we can get, because we're going to be, uh, taking a lot with us to the final dungeon. This is, uh, where one of those demons was felled. There's a pretty good shield there. A really good shield. There is the, uh, shipwreck where you find the ruby lighthouse gem. And it's not over there. At least I don't think it is. Oh, hello, zombies! Let us have at thee with you. Have at thee! You're gone. And you're gone as well. Just take care of you. And you. And there we go. Taken care of. Just gonna keep looking around. So there's this bit of rock here. I don't think this is where it is. I'll have a look. There's a skeleton there just swimming around underwater. I'm, I'm quite pleased that there is a animation for skeletons swimming in the underwater, even if it is just our animation for swimming underwater, but it's been applied there. Still a nice thing. Also, what is in here? It seems like something should be in here, but it doesn't look like there is anything in there. It really just looks like they've uh, crudely implemented... Ooh! Oh no, wait, I was about to say, what's that there? It's like, nope, that's, uh, that's still Trinsic me. You know what, I'm just gonna have to concede that we're never gonna find that bow. And that's fine, it, it's not the best bow anyway. It's a bow that, uh, when you, uh, fire it, it deals a lot of damage, but it also takes away from your life total. I mean, if you combine it with the armor that regenerates your health, it won't be so bad, but uh, we're pretty capable with a bow already, so I think it's best that we just focus on uh, doing the final thing we need to, which is getting that uh, final spell. If I actually do find where that bow is, I will show it off in a little extra thing, but uh, We've done pretty well when it comes to finding magical things. Letting one tiny thing slide is, uh, considering it could sometimes just disappear into oblivion as well, is not, uh, not an expected for a typical playthrough of Ultima 9. It can just vanish. You can actually find the shipwreck and it will just vanish. That is the, uh, common consensus that I've found. So, let us make our way over to Trinsic. How did it go? Fine. The shrine's been cleansed. Good. We're almost there. Yes, but how do I... Well, we're... Look, I... We 
are having some interesting dialogue repeated here. What do you need to ask me? Like I... What do you mean? Well, it's... I just... I don't think they actually set flags for these dialogues having happened. They just go, well, we're at this point, and even if you're past it, you still need to, uh... Go through this dialogue. Raven, I've... I pre... But I'd... All right. Where would you... We want to go to... Trinsic. And this time, considering that it's day, we will be able to sail over to... Serpent Hold, get the final spell, bind it, and then... Go and report on our success to the Lighthouse Keeper in Britain, because, uh... We're done with that quest. We are done. And so, when we come back, folks, the last spell... One quest to hand in... And we'll be pretty much done with all the loose ends that I can reasonably tie up. All that will be left is Turfin, the final dungeon. And our final confrontation with the Guardian that will not only finish this game, but the entire mainline Ultima Saga. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.